Howdy. For this video, I'm going to go over how to set up loot to save yourself some time when you're playing around and your characters do some searching and they find something and help it make it a little bit easier for them to either go through and pick out what they want themselves or to make it easier for you to give to them. So for this, uh, all you're going to need is the module uh, loot NPC sheets. Uh, it's one of my favorite modules. Uh, so once, once you have that one activated, um, all you have to do is to create a uh, generic NPC. So uh, I already have pretty much all of mine stashed except for one room I left uh, on blank on purpose. So uh, down in this room uh, there's something that can take place uh, for any Curse of Strahd spoilers. Uh, but uh, hidden they can find a heavy crossbow, a light crossbow, and a hand crossbow and 20 bolts each. So. Uh, that would be a, an item that I could pre-build to make it so that way they wouldn't have to worry about going to the item SRD sheet and dragging things over and like that. It just saves a lot of time. So what you do is you go to your player characters. Uh, I have literally a folder of nothing just but loot uh, already pre-set up. So what I usually do is just create a uh, new actor. If you do it from the top, it'll automatically default to that area. So um, we can do, you know, Wolf, Wolf Den, uh, and then you make it an NPC and create your character. So it will just be a blank picture. Uh, you can do whatever you want for to to make it look. So I have this uh, one picture of a chest that I like to use. I just I just like to be kind of consistent, and you know, whenever they find a chest, this is what it looks like. So to, what all you gotta do is you change it to sheet and you change it to a loot sheet and save and you're gonna keep it as a loot so for this you're gonna have to grant your players permission otherwise they will not be able to access the sheet and so once you do that uh, you can throw in any gold or currency that they might find from it you can go to your SRD sheet and go to your items so we'll do crossbow so we had a hand crossbow a heavy crossbow and a light crossbow and it had 20 bolts each so you can do 60 bolts for that and you created all the items that you need and you can have a player loot something specific so if they want one item and they're like, hey, I just want the hand crossbow, or I only want the heavy crossbow, then they can kind of pick and access what they want. Um, if you uh, kind of want to split it between people, they can do that, or one person's just like, well, I was in the room by myself, so I found it, and I'm going to keep it for myself, uh, depending on your players. Um, you can write like a little biography, you know, and describe, you know, what what was in it, or what, uh, what you had. So like for, um, so for like this one, it was a... Uh, a two cabinet so you could uh you could edit this and say you know so while they're in the thing like that so you had this uh two cabinets and inside uh you know it holds this particular thing and here's my wolf den and biography and then that way it kind of gives it a little bit of extra touch and uh looks a little bit nicer that way it describes you know what, what what's in the package and then all you do is you take the set icon that you just created so it's had wolf's den and then say like okay hey, this is going to be the cabinet and then you just kind of put it in whatever uh whatever position you want it and just hold shift and you can rotate your token and then just uh hide it and then so whenever they're in the room and they come in and they're like hey I uh, want to search this room then they can just kinda come in get whatever whatever it is that they're looking for and they, you know, they're exploring and they say okay hey I see this cabinet you know is there anything in it and then you can describe whatever is in it and then they're like okay I want to try and open it up and then do the dex check and you know try and bust open some thieves tools and then as soon as they say okay I got that then it'll pop up on them for them to see 
and then they can access it as long as the permissions are granted for them to be able to use it. And that is about it. Uh, it's very simple, uh, very straightforward, but uh, very convenient and can definitely save you some time, uh, especially in the lower half of this. I spent a good amount of time making every single icon. So every one of these rooms has a chest where they have everything already loaded in and you know I took time to make all the all the little items for everything and it took me a minute to find a good picture of an eye patch with a redstone. And I mean it it's it's just this little bit of things that'll you know that your 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 players will like a little bit. Just this little extra little touches to make your game a little bit more enjoyable. Um uh I'm gonna go over setting up uh, how to do traps here soon. Um, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Uh, I know I set this way up. Uh, I'll show this real quick. Um, so when I built this room, uh, I set it up to, so that uh, that the door is uh, pretty much just a one-way door so that when they try to go out, uh, I'm going to create a sound effect so whenever they go through it's going to be a, you know, a large metal door slamming and then when they go back to it to try and open it, it's locked, so then they have to use the uh, portcullis to open it up. But, uh, and then they can go back in through it. But uh, nice little fun things that, uh, that you can do to make it a little bit more enjoyable. And uh, how you do that is uh, in build mode. Uh, so when you go to your settings of your door, uh, you'll choose what wall direction is. So uh, for mine, the door is going towards the left wall, so it's going to point up going from north and south, and then that'll make it sealed. So when they try to go through it, they hit the wall, but as they come down, they just go right through. But that's it for this one. Uh, I'm going to try and make a couple more today, and uh, I'll go from there. So all right, y'all have a good one.